If you see yourself flying in this kind of aircraft, sitting on the jump seat next to your assigned door, running through your head 30 seconds silent review, wearing this kind of elegant uniform and taking passengers to any of these destinations, then you definitely need to pay attention to this video because I have prepared for you an exclusive information about how to apply for cabin crew position in Etihad Airways in 2023. This is the most fresh information ever because I have applied by myself just a week ago. I have successfully passed the first stage and currently I'm waiting for the result of the second stage. What are these stages and what you need to expect from the online application, I will describe in this video very clear and in details. But before we start, I would like to clarify one thing. I know many of you have seen my video about Emirates Assessment Day. Uh, where I described all the stages of the open day for those who didn't see the link is over here so after watching this video you might think that I'm crazy because I'm applying to different airlines but I would like to explain why I do so you know what honey you go ahead we'll call her an alternate so the first reason I'm just practicing my interviewing skills the second reason uh, is I'm very passionate about aviation. I would like to increase my chances to be on board again and I will be thrilled to try on the new uniform. And the third reason uh, I would like to open for you, my followers, uh, some secrets and steps you don't know to help you to achieve your goal of flying with the best airlines in the world. Etihad, Emirates, Qatar Airways are all good airlines and each of them has its own pros at cons. What is the best for you, you never know until you try. And I try. So guys, I'm not crazy. I'm just curious and I would like to take you through this aviation path with me and feed up your curiosity as well. All right, enough talking. Let's open the career.etihad.com website. Scroll down below, find the cabin crew image and click the corresponding link. Then from the list on the left hand side of the screen you can choose particular country and city and where you want to attend the interview. In my case it is Tbilisi again because I'm still in Georgia. Click on it uh, and carefully read job description. I have already read it and I'm sure I meet the requirements so I click the apply now button. So new application form has opened and now we need to fill it with information. Let's start from the first field resume. Here we have uh, options to upload prepared CV or build it here. I have my resume prepared, so I will just click please upload resume, then click select file, choose the needed file, read the privacy policy and press agree if you are agree. I am agree, so I click it. Let's wait for a couple of seconds. And here we go, the resume has been successfully uploaded. As you can see, although my resume was in PTU format, all the personal details has been taken from it and filled in the corresponding fields. I have two phone numbers, so I want to leave only one, Georgia. Then you must read the position specific questions. Actually it is the same as requirements on previous page, so as I am sure I meet them, I choose yes radio button. Ok. In the next field, they ask me why I would like to work for Etihad Airways and relocate to the UAE. And to save your time, I have already prepared the answer, so I just need to copy and paste it. Let's read what I had written, because as I have got positive response after submitting this form, my answer can be considered as satisfied. I am passionate about providing exceptional customer service and ensuring passenger safety. And I believe that Etihad Airways' commitment to delivering a world-class experience aligns with my values. I'm also excited about the prospect of living and working in the UAE, which is known for its dynamic business environment and high standard of living. Relocating to the UAE would give me the opportunity to expand my horizons, learn new skills and meet people from all over the world. I'm confident that I will thrive in this environment and I look forward to contributing my skills and expertise to the Etihad team. Ok, what's next? Here they ask me again if I'm willing to attend assessment day in Tbilisi and my answer is yes. My current city of residency is Batumi, country Georgia. 
current job title, I would say real estate project manager. Current company, freelance. I don't have any files to select, so I skip it. My nationality is Kazakhstan. I didn't work with Etihad previously. My age is between 27 and 33. And the last field where I need to write full answer is about my previous and current experience. Here's what I had written. I'm an experienced cabin crew member with a background in delivering 5-star customer service and ensuring passenger safety. In my previous roles with Qatar Airways and Air Astana, I conducted pre-flight safety and security checks, assisted passengers with boarding and deplaning, and addressed their needs throughout the flight. I am trained on a range of aircraft, including the Airbus 390, 320, 321, 380, Boeing 787 Dreamliner and 777. In addition to my cabin crew experience, I have also worked in hospitality as waiters at the Shangri-La Hotel Karat Alberi. Currently, I am a freelancer managing the real estate projects for investors and creating and managing social media content for various clients. I am confident that my diverse background and customer service skills make me a strong candidate for an Etihad Airways flight attendant. I think that sounds good to go. Now let's put the tick that I read and understood privacy policy. I have already read it and I am agree and ready to proceed to submitting this application. But before that, let's cross-check all the field fields. And click the submit button. Done! After applying almost at the same time, I have got three emails about my application. The first email uh, was telling that uh, my application is under review and uh, they will contact me as soon as there will be updates. The second email was uh, a welcome email to Etihad Airways Careers. Uh, they sent me some instructions how to create my profile and uh, to find a suitable job for me in Etihad company. I checked my profile and uh, also I have already applied for cabin crew position. As you could see, I haven't found there my application. So I guess this information needs to be filled only in case uh, if you want to be considered for any other vacancies of the company. Uh, and I decided to leave it empty as it is because in the third email they again confirmed that my application is under review and also they mentioned that due to large uh, volume of applications it may take few weeks to respond to me. But actually they did it much sooner because I have applied on 22nd of uh, April 2023 and I have got a positive answer on 25th of April 2023. As they say in the email they would like to know more about me, so they asked me to complete the online video introduction. I really like the way they send me emails, so simple and friendly, but let's see if I like it if I will not get through the next stage successfully. By the way, even if I'm very familiar with making a video, I was still worrying about how this video introduction is going to be done. Or what is the timing? What should I say about myself? I tried to search some information on YouTube, uh, however, I haven't found anything fresh. So I, do, I was delaying with recording this video as much as I could, uh, but recently, just a few days ago, I have finally overcome my fear and have recorded this video self-presentation. So this online introduction was full of surprises, but I made it and I'm happy that now I have more experience in interviewing. How was it? What was I telling in that video self-presentation? I will share with you in the next video. I have noted all my answers. So guys, in case if I will be successful on the next stage, after watching my answers, you will have at least one example of uh, what is okay to say. Uh, and if I will not be successful, then you will definitely know what you should avoid to say or to do. Guys, I'm absolutely okay with uh, failures and consider them as part of the future success. So I promise you, I will share with you my experience no matter what. Maybe sometimes I find out things or I hear something and I pass that information on, you know, kind of like a public service. 
and from you guys i would be pleased to receive a like on this video for my courage and efforts to get you closer to flying career i'm very happy to see you as my subscriber thank you very much for your support i feel this power of youtube community i'm very pleased to read your nice and supportive comments thank you very much i hope my videos uh, also help you and if at least one of my subscribers will receive a job offer from the airline i will be very happy thank you see you in the next video bye bye